Hey, what's going on everybody? So in today's video, I need to explain switch statements. A switch is a replacement to using many else if statements. Switches are more efficient and take less code to write compared to using many else if statements. Here is an example. I have a letter grade. A student's grade can be A, B, C, D, F. Or if their grade is invalid, we have an else statement that states that letter grade is not valid. Depending on what our grade is, we will execute one of many statements. If our grade is A, then we will echo, you did great. If it's B, you did good. C, you did okay. D, you did poorly. F, you failed. If we have a grade that isn't valid, such as pizza, well, that's not a grade. Pizza is not a valid grade. Using many else if statements is fairly inefficient. And it's a lot to write too. I would like to propose a better solution, and that is by using a switch, which is the topic of this video. To create a switch, we will type switch, add a set of parentheses, then add a set of curly braces. Within the parentheses of the switch, what would we like to examine? Let's examine our letter grade. Then we'll probably want to change our letter grade to something valid, like A. Within the switch, we're going to create cases. One case for each match that we're looking up. Type case. What are we comparing our grade to? Let's compare our grade to the letter A. Then add a colon. If our grade matches this case, we'll write some code. What do we want to do? Let's echo. You did great. After all of your code, add break to break out of the switch. This is the first case. Let's copy this case. Underneath it, after the break statement, let's paste it. Then we will have case B. You did good. Let's copy this again. Case C. You did okay. Then D. You did poorly. Case F. You failed. Our grade is currently an A. You did great. Let's test out case B. You did good. C. You did okay. D. You did poorly. F. You failed. What if we have a grade that isn't valid, like pizza again? Well, nothing happens. There were no matching cases. We simply exit the switch. If none of these cases match, you can add a default case. Type default. I can't spell it right today. If there are no matching cases, what are we going to do? Let's echo some sort of message. I'll add a placeholder. Our grade variable is not valid. So pizza is obviously not a letter grade. Pizza is not valid. There were no matching cases. Therefore, we resulted to the default case. The default case is kind of like the else statement. Now, the reason that you have break in here, let me demonstrate, is because you will break out of the switch. What if we were missing these break statements? Temporarily, I'm going to remove them. Let's say that our grade is B. You did good, you did okay, you did poorly, you failed, B is not valid. You need the break statement to break out of the switch. Wherever there's a match, we will execute the code followed underneath, then any subsequent code followed after. So be sure to include those break statements. Unless you want to execute every statement afterwards. In some cases, that could be helpful, but not for this one. Let's go over another example. We're going to get the current date. I'll create variable date. To get the current date, we will use the date function. Within the parentheses of the date function, within a set of quotes, type L. Just to be sure it's working fine, let's echo our date for testing. L will give you the day of the week. Currently, for me, it's Monday. 
So let's place our date within a switch. We'll create a switch, parentheses, curly braces. We are examining our date. Then we'll need a case, case, Monday. If today is Monday, let's echo, I hate Mondays. Then break. So it's Monday, I will echo, I hate Mondays. So let's copy this case, paste it, change Monday to Tuesday. What can we say for Tuesday? It is Taco Tuesday. So currently for me, it's still Monday. Just for testing purposes, I am going to change our date after we get the current date. I just want to be sure that our switch is working. What if our date was Tuesday? It is Taco Tuesday. What if it's Wednesday? The work week is half over. Let's change our case to be Wednesday. The work week is half over. Thursday. It's almost the weekend. Let's change our date to be Thursday. It's almost the weekend. Friday. The weekend is here. The weekend is here. Saturday. Time to party. Time to party. Then Sunday. Time to... Let's relax on Sunday. Time to relax. It's optional, but we could add a default case if there are no matching cases. Let's echo. Our variable date is not a day. Let's change our date to something like pizza. Well, pizza is not a day. So I'll remove this line. Depending on what day you're executing this code, it will display a custom message depending on the day of the week. Like I said, today for me, it's Monday. So my message prints, I hate Mondays. All right, everybody, in conclusion, a switch is a replacement to using many else if statements. They're more efficient and take less code to write. I would recommend a switch if you're checking some value or variable many times over. And well, everybody, those are switches in PHP.